I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm going to go ahead and start off with an order that I placed off of dermstore.com. They were doing 25% off a whole bunch of stuff on their website. So I got the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream with Triple Hyaluronic Acid. Um, and this isn't the first time that I've purchased this product. I've actually gone through three or four tubes of this in the past and it's one of the only products that I can put around my eyes that contain retinol that doesn't fry or like irritate my eye skin. Um, typically any type of acids or retinol that I get around that that area it itches it turns red I have like a serious issue <laughs> with it around my eyes and it takes a good like week of non-use to get it to go away and this doesn't irritate my skin at all and for some reason or another it kind of got pushed to the side and I stopped using it and was using other products and I started using it again and my tube is like totally empty now and I got a replacement for that so I take a pea sized amount of this and I put it around my entire eye area and then I top it with the Neocutis extra moisturizing eye cream which I absolutely adore as well and I just really like this product because again, it's one of the only products that I can put around my eyes that contain retinol that doesn't irritate the skin. So that's from First Aid Beauty and it's the Retinol Eye Cream with Triple Hyaluronic Acid right there. And then I placed an order on the Juno & Co. website. They came out with two new face palettes. The one with the lavender in it was sold out. And so I'm going to get that when it comes back into stock. Um, but the other one is called Margarita. And it's the Cheek Defining Kit. So this is the packaging. Very pretty packaging. I got this because of how much I like the first one that I got. Which is the Cherry Bomb palette right here. I got this a while back and I just really enjoy using this one. It's got some highlighters that I like to mix, a pretty blush and a bronze contour in there. So that's the Cherry Bomb one. So this one is Margarita and I've got a little bit of these two right here mixed as a highlighter on my face today and then it wasn't quite as uh, shimmery as I wanted it to be and it was a little bit too pink with this one right here. It's got a really strong pink duo duochrome. So I kind of went over it with Ofra Star Island um, but I also used this shade right here as a bronzer and this is just a very pretty bronzer it's got a little bit of a sheen in it I'm not sure how I'm gonna use that guy yet <laughs> we'll figure it out but this one here again is the margarita palette right there and it's they call it a cheek defining kit so kind of like three highlighty type colors. Um, I think this is just a little bit too light for me to use as a blush and then this one is the uh, bronzer shade that I've got on as well. So that is from Juno & Co. Also from Juno & Co. They came out with three quads. They're the Juno Starlit Eyeshadow Collection. So I got all three of them and I think these are the first eyeshadows that Juno & Co. has done. Um, they come in hard plastic packaging. It's, it's really pretty um, packaging and these were only like nine nine and some some like 9.99 or something like that a piece and there are coupon codes and they have sales and stuff so you can get them for a pretty decent price so there's a total of 4.2 grams in these uh starlit eyeshadows so this first one is called songbird and this one has got the purples in it these first three shades are shimmers and then this pink is a matte and the matte shades are very like saturated the shimmers are really pretty as well this shade is kind of my favorite um but some of them are a little bit more, I don't know, they're really sparkly, but a little bit more sheer. But this one is the Songbird right here. Some pretty uh, purple shades in there. And then this next one is called Goddess. This is the neutral one. These two are the matte eyeshadows and then these two are the shimmers. Again, the matte shades are very, very pigmented, very smooth, very buttery. And the shimmers are pretty, but they're a, just a little bit more sheer kind of shades. So that one right there is the Goddess Quad. And then the last quad is called Dreamer. And all of the shades in here are shimmery. Well, the, the three shades. This one and these two. And then this is a pressed glitter. It's like a glitter suspended in a slight gel type of a formula with a really strong green iridescence to it. So it's kind of interesting. And again, this is the one in Dreamer. Oops. 
it's probably my least favorite out of the three. I really like the goddess one and some of those shades in the uh, songbird are beautiful. But that one is the one in Dreamer right there. Next up, I purchased a few things from Ulta. I got the new Urban Decay Lash Freak uh, Freaky Volume Mascara. <laughs> um, this is what the packaging looks like. It just looked really intriguing to me, and I'm somebody who likes those uh, plastic spiky bristled wands on mascaras, so I thought I would give it a try. It says 23.6 times more volume on the tube, and there's a total 0.32 fluid ounces of product in there. And then the tube is a chartreuse green color and it says lash freak um i was reading reviews on this mascara after i purchased it <laughs> and they're so bad so i found it really interesting that i've been enjoying this mascara the wand is super interesting to say the least um there's like two rows of spiky bristles that are like butterflied kind of on the one side and there's nothing on this side and a little ball of bristles on the end and between those two like rows of bristles there's a ton of mascara in there um so when you first like start to put it on it coats the lashes with a ton of product but for me i just kept combing through i didn't dip back into the wand but i just kept combing through my lashes with the amount of product that was on the brush and i found that in one coat i got a really nice amount of volume and length um as long as i just kept combing out the eyelashes to disperse that product evenly throughout my lashes um and one coat is good enough i think that if you try for two or three it's definitely going to be overkill but i almost feel like the exact amount of product comes out on this wand that you need for your lashes in one shot that's kind of how i feel about it so each time that i use it it's just one dip and it coats my lashes enough i don't go in for two or three coats and it's just a nice amount of volume and length for me and i don't get smudging or flaking with this mascara so the formula is really nice i think the biggest thing is trying to get used to how much product comes out on the wand but as long as i just keep combing through it to really disperse that product evenly throughout my whole lashes i think the overall effect is really pretty so i've been enjoying it and, I, and again like i said i i like the formula but i do feel like uh, for some there may be a learning curve um with the mascara because the the wand is quite funky and again there's a ton of product that comes in between those bristles but um it's kind of just enough for me so that's the urban decay lash freak mascara and you know what's funny i have been adoring literally adoring this essence bye bye panda eyes mascara and i went to try to buy some of these in the store and they didn't have them i couldn't find them so i may order a couple of these online because they're really inexpensive like 3.99 for this mascara and this formula is beautiful as well it definitely doesn't give as much volume as the urban decay i do like two three coats with this but it's really fine and fluttery so just side note <laughs> i really like this uh bye bye panda eyes also from ulta i got the derma blend professional cover care full coverage concealer which is a new launch from derma blend and i kept going back and forth with this and i finally just purchased it so it says 24 hour long lasting wear skin hydration on the packaging and there's a massive amount of product that you get it's 0.33 fluid ounces of product that comes in the tube. The shade that I got is 5C, which is the lightest cool undertone one that they had, and it actually matches me really well um, for the summertime right now. I think maybe in the dead of winter it might be a little bit too dark, um, but for right now it's kind of just perfect. And this concealer, the 24 hour part kind of was like, ooh, is it gonna be drying? Is it gonna look kind of heavy and dry underneath my eyes? Because I have a really dry under eye anyway, and it doesn't. It actually looks really pretty. I put two dots on each side like that and blended it out with a sponge and it's a nice thin consistency that covers really well and i don't get any creasing and my under eyes don't look dry so i really i've really been enjoying this concealer again this is the cover care full coverage concealer and the shade i have is 5c it's got one of those really large doe foot applicators on there so i just do dot dot like that underneath each eye and that's enough product for me but well I, uh, I kind of put too much on there <laughs> but look at how well that covers though and it's thin and it feels nice and it blends out pretty it's just a really nice concealer and I'm happy that I picked it up so that's uh, 5c from Dermablend cover care full coverage concealer right there 
And then I got this coupon in the mail um, for being a Diamond member at Ulta to get a free product. And there was like a lotion, a hair product, and then a Clinique foundation. You could get like one of three things. So I went with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I went in with this with the intention of getting it as a concealer. So I got the shade CNO2 Breeze. And this comes with one fluid ounce of product. And I used this yesterday as a concealer underneath my eyes. <laughs> Um, it comes with those large doe foots again um, and this looked terrible <laughs> I could not wait to wash this off my face like it is it, it initially looks really kind of pretty but it's thick and it it like caked and it like oxidized and it just did not look pretty underneath my eyes at all um, I'll probably pass this on because I won't wear it as a foundation I like um, base products that have a lot of SPF with a little bit thinner kind of consistency than this has but I gave it a whirl <laughs> and for some reason or another I just keep losing my sun balm mineral sunscreen lip balms with SPF 30 either I end up washing them in the washing machine because I leave them in my pocket or I lose them in the trailer or somewhere I just they just keep I just keep losing them or washing them <laughs> so <laughs> I got two more of these this is the lip balm that I carry in my pocket when I'm outside it's got a mineral sunscreen SPF 30 in it um it does have a little bit of a taste, but nothing like a high chemical sunscreen and a lip product. So that's why I prefer the mineral ones. Um, and it's a little bit hydrating, but not so much. And I, I just keep like reapplying it. And I do tend to get a little bit of a ring on the inside of my mouth that I have to like wipe off and stuff like that. But in terms of sun protection on my lips, I don't get burnt on my lips when I use this. So I picked up two more of these guys right here. Again, those are the Sun Bum mineral sunscreen lip balms with SPF 30 in them. And then lastly from the Ulta, they had the display out for the NYX Ultimate Utopia Shadow Palette, um, which is the one that I had wanted to get the last time that I w made it into the Ulta store. And they didn't have this out yet and it was online so when I went to go purchase it online I couldn't find it online on the Ulta website so I don't I don't know what's going on with that but I was able to get it in the store and this is probably my favorite one of these large palettes that NYX has done I feel like the formulation is really nice the other ones are nice as well but I love the colors in here and some of the shimmery tones and stuff are just really stunning shades so I'm gonna swatch let's swatch some of these really beautiful shimmers first and then I'll swatch some of the mattes, which are pigmented. They blend out really nice. And you get ugh, just a ton of shades in here, too. Like, look at how pretty those are. And I did see that this comes in one of their smaller palettes as well. I think there's uh, 12 shades in that one. And from what I could tell, it looked like the same shades in the 12 pan palette were the, some of the same shades that were in here. So I didn't want to, you know, get both of them. But really pretty colors in here. Tons of mattes, tons of shimmers. Um, I think there are more mattes than there are shimmers. But I'm so glad I was able to get this palette because I really like it. Really pretty though, right? I just think it's really nice. Let's get this shimmer up here. And then this guy, this pretty like periwinkle lilac this green oh, I just love the colors in this palette so there are some of the swatches right there and that is the NYX ultimate utopia on the lid it says there's 40 shades that are 0 0.03 ounces per shade which is decent I guess for as many eyeshadows as you're getting inside of here because this is a um I think this is a $30 palette, which is kind of spendy for NYX, but again, the quality is pretty darn nice in there. And that's everything that I got in that I purchased this week. There's just not a ton. I keep like browsing all the, all the sites that I normally shop on and nothing is just pulling me in. There's not a ton of super newness out there. I'm on the hunt on the daily. <laughs> um, I did place a couple orders. I placed one at Sel Selfridges, Sephora, um, ColourPop, but they just haven't gotten here yet. I did get in two PR packages though, and this first one is from the House of Siage, and they expanded their Whispers in the Garden bow lipstick cases to other colors, and they're just absolutely stunning. So it came with um, a card that shows all the colors that are available. 
right here. Um, let's see right here. I'll show you this little card right here. So they have the original two, Whispers of Truth and Whispers of Admiration. And then they came out with Whispers of Innocent. Um, a green one, of even lighter baby pink, a lilac shade. Oh, the lilac is beautiful. And then this Whispers of Time, which is a teal shade. So they sent me over the Whispers of Time, which... If there was one that I was going to pick to want first, it would be the Whispers of Time because this particular shade of blue is one of my favorite colors. And they kind of switched it up. Um, they changed the cases to match the coloring of the bow tie lipstick. So I love that because all the other ones are either black or white. So this one comes in a teal packaging with a teal sleeve. And again, I just, I love this color. And then here is the bow tie lipstick and it's got the Swarovski crystals on it. Um, I've said this so many times, but these lipstick cases are the prettiest lipsticks that I have in my entire collection. They're nicely weighted, very beautifully made. They're just a really luxurious product. So I have got the shade uh, Baron inside of here with the gold. And this is a slight kind of uh, nude pink shade. I have this on slightly mixed with, because I mix everything. <laughs> I mix everything with Charlotte Tilbury's lip lipstick in Kim KW, because I'm obsessed with it. And sometimes I just like to change up the undertone of it. So I've got that Charlotte Tilbury lipstick with uh, Baron on my lips today. And it just makes it an even more nude um, pink shade, but these lipsticks are beautiful. They have a slight vanilla scent, which is my absolute favorite in a lipstick. I, I love it. I would like to house the smell of like this or a MAC lipstick in a perfume. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand here, but this is the shade Baron right here. And again, their lipstick formula is stunning. Um, I would love some nudes, like some beige light nudes. I would love some nudes in this formula, <laughs> just saying. But that is the new bow tie lipstick from the House of Siage in the shade Teal. Big thank you as always to House of Siage for sending this over. I adore, I just adore their stuff. And I love that they made the little uh, bow cases the same coloring as the lipstick. It's, it's just beautiful. And then lastly, ColourPop sent me over a few pieces from their Over the Bloom collection. They sent over two of their little kits with blushes and lip oils, and I really like their new lip oil formula, so I was happy to get these. So it comes with a luxe lip oil and a pressed powder blush. So this first one is New Leaf, and the packaging is so pretty. It's like raised and textured. It's really stunning. So this one comes with a lip oil in Gen Zen which is a peach with sparkles in there. And then look at the floral cap. It's got a slight, slight sweet peppermint scent to it, but it's very slight. So that's the lip oil in Gen Zen. And then the blush is called Desert Rose. And here's the packaging on the blush. And this is actually the blush that I have on my cheeks today. It's like a matte with a little bit of sparkles shifted through it. It's not super shimmery. Um, it's like a satin with a sparkle kind of a deal. But this is the blush again that I have on my cheeks today. And I do love me some ColourPop blushes. It's just really pretty. So that's the new Leaf Duo right there. And I actually ordered the other two duos that they came out with this collection as well. There was a lilac blush and another, just a really pretty looking blush. So I ordered both those duos because I like the lip oils as well, but I haven't gotten them yet. And the other duo is Herb Appeal which is this guy right here. It comes with the whole nine yards of pressed powder blush and the local time luxe lip oil. So here is the powder blush in whole nine yards, which is a deeper kind of berry pink. This one has also got shimmers um, shot through it, but it's not like super shimmery. So that one is whole nine yards in the blush right there. And then the lip oil in local time which is this color it's got a little bit more color to it than the other one and then two jelly much eyeshadows which i really like the jelly much eyeshadows for toppers i just use my finger tap it in and tap it over it kind of a corresponding shadow that gives it a really pretty sparkle and with these guys they have micro glitters in them and i find that they don't fall out on the face throughout the day so i really do like their uh, jelly much formula so this first one is she grown she grown <laughs> and it's kind of a rosy coral color 
right here. So this is, wait, I'm gonna drop this. She grown right here. Look at how shiny that is. So that's the Jelly Much eyeshadow in She Grown. And the other shade is Saguaro, S-A-G-U-A-R-O, which is kind of a tangerine color right there. Look at that though. Oh my gosh. It's just so reflective. Right there. So that one is Saguaro right there. And those are both Jelly Much eyeshadows. And then there's also a 15 shade eyeshadow palette. This is called Garden Variety Pressed Powder Palette. There's a total 0.6 ounces of product in here and I love the packaging. It's, it's kind of uh, textured as well and raised with kind of matte and shiny uh, flowers on it. It's just really pretty. There's uh, no mirror in this guy, which I don't mind because I don't use the mirrors anyways. And then here are the 15 shades that are inside the palette. This is actually the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes today. And I get along with um, ColourPop pressed shadows really well. I love them. I'm a collector. I want them all. <laughs> like I said, I'm missing one. And that is the Ola Chola palette. There's just a really pretty array of shades in here. There is one Super Shock shadow, which is Don't Leaf right there. And these are really pretty as well, but I find that they're more emollient in the palettes than they are in the jars. So they tend to crease a little bit more on me when they're in the palette as opposed to being in the jar formula. But there's some nice, really pretty mattes in there. There's some mattes with the sparkles infused in there and then just some really pretty shimmers. And again, this is what I have on my eyes today. And the shadows are magnetized. So if you want to remove them, you can. So there are the first four. And then these next guys. I did place an order too for a couple pieces from the Candyland collection because I didn't get that one. Um, and I can't wait to get those too. <laughs> But here's the next row. Here's that Super Shock shade. Oh. And then these last three right here. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy that ColourPop is dropping collections left and right again. I was missing them something fierce um, over the past couple months, that's for sure. I just, I just enjoy them a lot. So that guy is the um, Garden Variety eyeshadow palette right there. Then there was this Soul Body Glow Oil, 0.92 fluid ounces of product in here. And this is the shade um, Warm, oh, I dropped some stuff, Warm Gold. Right here, it's got a lot of sparkles in it. Should I put some on my hand here? I've never tried the, oh wow, oh wow. That's a lot of metallic going on right there. This is the shade Warm Gold again. Oh, that has got, I, <laughs> That's got way more going on to it than I anticipated that it would. Wow. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Check that out. I'm kind of intrigued. Like I need like a champagne color. This has got a really kind of fruity coconut smell to it as well. It smells nice. And then lastly in the box was this Misty Morning Mini Mist Kit. And this is also from 4th Ray Beauty. And I haven't tried anything from 4th Ray Beauty before. I have not used these just yet either. But it comes with these. Oh, this has got a little bit of a shimmer in it as well. So it comes with the Fresh AF Energizing Mist. And the, I think you're supposed to shake this up. The Glisten Up Illuminating Mist. So this one's got some sparkles in it. And let me like spray them. See the sprayer on there. Okay, so I would recommend uh, directly on the face to push really hard, really fast, and kind of at a decent distance. Like, let's see if I can... Yeah. That's kind of the sprayer on it. 
that smells really nice. It smells like kind of citrusy, but it's not too much. And then here's the energizing mist. <sighs> Same thing, like kind of a tangerine scent to it. And a huge thank you to ColourPop for sending over those pieces from their Over the Bloom collection. Um, and that's everything I have for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.